Hey everyone, Vlad here, and today I'm bringing you the Parks and Recreation version of my awesome camp location series. Hope you enjoy the locations. Let's get it started. I'm starting things off today at this nice lake out in the top of the Savage Divide. It's pretty empty as far as pre-existing structures go, but you do have this little water purifier and some tents going on over in the corner. Um, as you can see here, you can put down your camp uh, pretty much anywhere along the borders of the lake. There isn't any rocks in the middle that you can place, so you can put it in the middle, but uh, there's plenty of buildable space around the, uh, the water. And uh, we do have this little campsite over here to the north of it with a couple of tents and some logs and radio. But overall, I really, really like this location. And we are up here at the top of the Savage Divide just south of Prickett's Fort and a little bit north of Sacrament. Here we are at our second location. This one also has water and it's a pretty cool location out in the forest, a little bit north of Point Pleasant. And we are just south of Marigold Pavilion as well. But this location has a really nice lake that you can build on and you can also incorporate this dock over here in the corner. It is a little bit tricky. You have to place your camp on the dock. I'll show you that here in a second, just because of how close we are to the Marigold Pavilion location. But overall, a pretty blank canvas for you to incorporate this dock into your camp. Here we are, I'm showing you with the um, camp unit where you can place it and include this dock in the camp build. Um, you can do it on the, you know, the upper level towards the edge, or you can take it all the way out but we are here on the map, and then we have Marigold Pavilion just to the north, and then Point Pleasant over there to the west. This is our third location, and we're going to the Meyer for it. We have a tree house here. And I really like this one because not only is there water down at the bottom, but you also have this tree house up in the air with lights that are already built for you. So you don't have to incorporate those into your budget. So things are gonna be lit up before you, before you even start building. You have this little motorbike down at the bottom along with a barrel to kind of give off some uh, things that we can't build ourselves. The walk up the tree is a little bit, you know, perilous. So we got some really thin um, boards and stuff going up. You may fall just running up those once in a while. We also have this uh, pre-built trap that's already in the tree. Unfortunately though, once you spring it, you can't uh, replace it like the ones that we build in our camp, but it's there. And um, you know, too bad that we can't place some of these makeshift type ramps and ladders ourselves, because that'd be a really cool addition to the camp building. But up at the very top, we have this really cool, um, fairly large platform that we can put and you know, customize to our own on our own ends and we have this nice little cutout of the mobster I wish we could place those in our camps those are pretty cool too and for this one we are just south of the Gulper Lagoon here in the mire north of Dolly Sod's lookout this next location takes us out to the Savage Divide and this nice little campsite that's out here I will warn you that this is a pretty perilous location to build your camp there are scorch beasts that will be coming out at a very active fisher site because we were really close to the pumpkin house with this one but I really like the aesthetics here so I decided it was worth showing to you and we have that truck with not much in the bed but we have this pre-built camper site much like the one we can build from the atomic shop but this one's already out there for you and it has a few things in it that we can't build ourselves to kind of add to the camp and then on the back end we have this campsite already set up which includes a motorcycle we've got some wood that we can collect on our own actually a couple of stacks of wood. I really like the extras of the fishing pole and the stuff laid out on the table. Um, those are things obviously we can't do ourselves so they always add to the build. We also have this cooking spit that we can cook on and that means that you don't have to build it yourself and use your camp budget. And uh, there we can see that it works. And then we have this outhouse which has a skeleton in there kind of waiting for you. But uh, otherwise, I really like the aesthetics of this camp location. We are here in the north part of the Savage Divide, just north of this Fisher site and to the west of Pumpkin House. Moving on, we are out in the ash heap, and I really like this location. We have a Airstream camper built here, along with kind of a motorcycle circle track because there's tires spread around. Um, there's also some water over here to one side of it, so you can put down a water purifier as well. 
That's what I like a lot of, about a lot of these locations that they have water available. But moving around, we have this little track area with some strewn out um, motorcycles as we move in the circle. And then we also have the Airstream, which is there and has some interesting stuff in it. We have a bed, and the bed is actually functional in this location. And then we have um, a little bit of a TV area set up in one corner, but it's pretty empty. Not a lot of decoration going on in here. Uh, plenty of space to move around, but also to add some of your own objects from your build menu. So overall, I really like this location for building the camp. And here we are just north of that red rocket station at the dump truck. This next location is going to help you uh, get your top gun on, though this is not in a danger zone. This is in the forest, so don't expect too many guys to come out and attack you while you build here, but it is a really neat, unique location. You have a full volleyball net that is intact and there for you to build around to kind of build it as a theme for the camp. We also have some nice little areas around, such as this outcrop to the back end. We are here in the forest for this one, just to the south of Vault 51 and Aaron, north of Aaron Holt Farm. This next location is really cool. It has a full, pristine playground for you to do what you would like with it. And we are in a really cool location uh, in the central of the map next to Top of the World and the train station there. So also a really good location on the map. And um, you also have this little shed that's there with some things that you can pick up some lead from. It's also got this really cool like stone texture on it. And then here's the playground. We have a full slide. We have some balance beams. We have monkey bars. We got the little uh, jumping between the, uh, the trees there. And overall, this is just a really cool location that is still fully built. Now, when you go to place your camp, unit on this one make sure you put it in the center because if you go out to the edges you're not going to be able to build again that's because of where we're at and there's map locations that are around it on all sides so keep that in mind here we are we're just north of Pleasant Valley Ski Resort and south of the Pleasant Valley cabins are you guys ready for the bonus location here is our bonus location for the week, and we are in the northern part of the Savage Divide. A lot of good stuff in the northern part of the Savage Divide. But we have this structure that is obviously part of a pre-war park, and it has become overrun with raiders at one point, and now there are super mutants that spawn here. But it has a lot of unique structures and a lot of unique things kind of going for it. And you can build at any point of it. It is way too big for you to incorporate your entire camp into it. But you'll be able to use the different things that are here to get a really cool, unique feel for your camp. And if you wanted to build something more friendly, this is a good place to do it. So we have everything from raider cages to the little um, raider t uh, canvas overhangs. We have checkpoints. And up at the top here, we also have some pre-built structures. So if you wanted someplace covered without building it yourself, we have these two little locations up here with various things going on from decorated shelves to this little meat processing area over here. And that's not everything that's included with this location. If you don't like this little area, you can always run all the way to the back. And we're gonna do that real quick. But back here are more camping areas. And because they're so close to this one, I decided I had to include them with this location because separating them just wouldn't be right. They are so close to each other on the map. But once you've run through and follow this trail, you will find some pre-existing camp structures. We have these uh, little just um, you know roofings type structure with no walls. And then we have these little campsites with camps and tents already built. So you can uh, utilize these any way you want. But again, you're not going to be able to put your camp and cover the entire area. So uh, you have a lot of things to choose from to kind of get the right aesthetic for your camp. And here again, this is where we're at and some of the key locations surrounding it. So that'll wrap it up for the camp locations in the video this week. Hope you enjoyed them. Hopefully some of them were brand new for you. Other ones that may have just been reminding you that they were there and you can build around them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Catch you later.